losing time, I'm fading fast I just wanna make it last Try to let go of the past I close my eyes, embrace the blast Sleepless nights and headaches stack Restlessness to hell and back What's my purpose, what do I grab? A slippery surface, a heart attack And sometimes you just gotta believe There's something that'll give you relief there's something that'll have what you need, what you need. We're broken, it's tragic, we're not all elastic, but maybe there's magic. Believe you could have it, and I know of sadness, the anxious and panic, the infinite vastness of all that is blackness. That is a nice, nice snook. That is a nice size speckled trout, people. It's on. Oh my God, I just hit a freaking tarpon, people. Oh, you just spit it. Good morning, everyone. This is um, the 15th of October. I didn't think I was gonna get out anytime soon, but uh, as, as, the, as two weeks after the hurricane here, I've, uh, I've learned that you need to do something for yourself. Um, you know, I've, Jennifer and I have made out okay, um, but so many people around us have not. And um, I, I work at a trailer shop and you know people are just coming in and buying trailers just to be able to gut their houses because they lost everything and try to salvage something and and listening to that for two weeks now um, and hearing all the stories uh, it just it gets depressing and and I really believe it's important to just take some time and just do something for yourself um, for me it's fishing um, and you know, Jen and Jen and I were talking and, 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 and she came up with a good point saying, you know, people go online and they go on YouTube and they watch videos to get away from things. So that is one thing that I can do for people, some people, um, and it's to just get out and, 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 and fish. Um, it, it, it seems very selfish and I mean, I, I, I thought long and hard about it because I still feel selfish. I still feel horrible for being out here when other people are going through their the, the rubble in their homes and just trying to salvage whatever they can. Um, so, you know, please don't think that I, I, I take this lightly um, because I'm very troubled by the fact that I'm doing this and I'm okay. And anyway, um, that's, that's the only point I want to make today. Um, this is lower Tampa Bay. This is some place that I've never been before. So I have no idea what to expect. I have no idea where to go. I'm just going to kind of wing it. Um, it's, it's Bishop's Bay um, to let you guys know. Um, a, a, a guy on a Facebook group um, kind of pointed it out to me and I, I, I went for it. No idea what to expect. Um, it's going to be a little windy today. So that'll be a little bit of a struggle. But um, you know, I, I don't know. We'll, we'll see what we can do here. Um, I have no live bait. I do have my, my cast net underneath my seat and I do have my little live, my little uh, bucket. So if I do find some bait, I can, uh, you know, cast them. But um, mostly artificial today. We'll see what we can do. I mean, I just, I don't know where to go. I don't know what to do. So I'm gonna kind of wing this.
and we're gonna see what we can do. So, wish me luck. I just had something explode right in front of me. I have no idea what it was. And I mean, I'm in, I'm in like a foot of water maybe. And my, my fish fire is blinking. Luckily I brought my, my, my shorter drive. I was smart on that, I think. I think that was a good idea. There's something over there. This is just bait. I guess it just could be a school, a mullet, or something. I don't know. But there's something. There's definitely something over here. Oh yeah, I'm touching bottom. We got sharks. Oh no, those are dolphins. Oh, those are dolphins. Yeah, maybe those are dolphins. Yeah, they're dolphins. The whole school of dolphins, look at them all. Tough day, people. This guy's coming right at me. Not anymore. This is a tough day. It's um, pretty windy. I'm assuming all of this is mullet, but just in case, that's uh. See if anybody wants something. You know, I can't pedal. We're in, I'm in, I don't know, maybe six inches of water, and those stupid fish are launching themselves. Unbelievable. How the heck do they do that? So I guess I'm gonna be paddling. that what on earth is that it's like an old I don't know what it is is it a battery it's a battery are you serious that's a stupid battery yeah Somebody dropped a friggin' battery in the water. Are you friggin' kidding me, people? I don't know if we can get that. Uh, a friggin' battery. Seriously? Who the hell would do that? I mean, really. Uh, I don't want to leave this. I've got no one to help me. Welcome to Tampa Bay International. One foot down, we'll know. All right, 
I might be able to do this now. Oh my god! It's so stuck! Uh, uh. Now what? People, don't be like this person. Batteries do not belong in the friggin' water. Paradise I've stumbled upon. Nicely sheltered, deep water, no, two feet. A little beach there I can maybe go exploring a little bit. All right, well, let's see if there's anybody here. other than the distant noise from a truck that's nothing gentle wind going through the mangroves Occasional mullet jumping. That's what you all need every now and then. Just to come out here and sit in silence and just listen. You all need to come out and experience that, even if it's for an hour. Everybody's got stuff to do right now, I get it. But if you don't take some time for yourselves, you want either gonna drink yourself to death or go into deep depression. Because there's a lot of sadness in our area right now. I had to drive an hour to get out of it. And I'm very glad I did. And this is what I needed. caught a fish yet and chances are I won't but that's all right because this this is where I am this is where I am that doesn't suck look honey ibises remember what they look like we used to have them in our neighborhood. Then, then the hurricane came. Now they disappeared. Oh, there's a couple of them, hun. She loves those birds. This is a really neat place, people. I'm having fun exploring this. I, so far, I've had two little explosions on my uh, top water here but that's it so there is fish here other than the mullet what they are I don't know I'm guessing there might be ladyfish just based on the type of explosion when I hit my lure but oop. but you know I could be wrong I'm not exactly sure I didn't see anything so, kind of hard to say. There's some fish right there. <laughs> Couple little guys. I do have a question for um, Outback owners of the old style. Have you found a, a, a an insulated cup or something to that fits in this cup holder? Um, please let me know. Uh, comment below. Um, uh, I water bottles. You know they're 15 minutes and they're warm. I'd like to get something.
Friday one. A few things I want to talk about here. Um, number one, like I've said a few times, um, if you're in the affected areas of Southwest Florida, you're under a lot of stress. And, and I believe it's so important for you guys to just go do something for yourselves. Uh, whether it's an hour or a day or a weekend, whatever it is, whatever you can do, you've got to take some time to just get away. Yes, all the crap is going to be there, absolutely. But you need to just compress. And, or decompress, I should say. I'm sorry. Decompress and just take some time to just do something other than a task that you need to get done. Um, I, I truly believe that is very important. Um, there's just so much depression. There's so, there's so much depressing things going on in my area. And, and, and seeing it firsthand is, 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 is way different than watching it just on TV. So I, I urge all of you who are watching this in, in Southwest Florida, especially if you have been greatly impacted by Hurricane uh, Ian, um, please just take some time to yourselves. Please. Secondly, um, we all drop things in the water. It happens. I've lost many a pair of pliers to the, to the ocean. Um, I, I understand that things happen. But a battery just does not fall off of a, a, a boat or a kayak. Um, that's just horrendous. And to that person, uh, male or female, uh, sir or ma'am, I hope you get a flesh-eating disease because you just don't throw a friggin' car battery or any battery in the, in the ocean or any body of water. I'm very happy that I got it out of the water. Um, it took a little bit of doing to get you know to get it, but I did get it, and I am very pleased about that. So I will take it home and dispose of it properly. So, on that note, um, I hope you got some enjoyment out of this. Um, you know, it was just wonderful to get out. It really was. Um, would have been nice to get a fish, but whatever. <laughs> um, so, I hope you got some enjoyment out of it. Um, please like and subscribe. Please ring your notification bell. Please think about becoming a patron. And at some point, I will be guiding again. So please, if you're interested, please email me at fishanddips1 at gmail.com and I'll send you all my guiding information and I will let you know when the waters down in, in, in the Cape Coral, Pine Island, Malachay area are, are safe to, to, to use. Um, right now they're not, so guiding is on hold. Um, I mean, I suppose I can come up here, but I don't know up here very well. So. Guiding is on hold right now, um, but um, I can certainly send you all my information. Um, yeah, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep trying to get out where I can and when I can, and do other things. You know, I, we'll see what happens. But until next time, I'll see you out there.